Jimmy, this is the Roland VR50 HD multi-format AV mixer. Uh, Roland are actually quite well known in the video mixing uh, sphere, even though they might be well known for musical instruments amongst uh, some other people. Now, it doesn't look much from the front. Why exactly is this worth $9,000? Ah, it's what you can't see. Mm. Um, look, it's a it's a very valid question because there are certainly uh, other mixers around that look like they do the same sort of thing mm. for much less money. Um, the reality is this one does a lot more than it looks like. Uh, starting with the fact that, okay, yes, it's a four bus mixer. We've got a choice of HDMI or SDI for each of those inputs, mm -hmm. plus also composite or component or RGB for the first two. Right. There's also a four slot still store we can cut to. Uh, there's a built-in multi-viewer on the touch screen here and that also outputs on HDMI. Uh, every input has scaling. We can zoom and we can reposition uh, and we can change the aspect on any of the video inputs. Uh, it also does four stereo and four more mono channels of audio mixing and uh, the stereos, you can either feed stereo line-ins or you can pick up the audio embedded on the SDI or HDMI inputs corresponding. So input one, two, three, four. Okay, so built-in embedding and uh, de-embedding yeah, plus it does I'm audio not finished. I'm not finished. Okay, oh, there's um, more. Okay, so <laughs> there's also, uh, in addition to the program bus, there's an auxiliary bus. You can choose any of the inputs or the program output right. to feed that. You can route to every single output and there's a program and preview bus on HDMI, SDI, and RGB component, and you can route to each of those individually. Uh, you can even route the multi-view to the HDMIs and the SDIs. Um, you've got audio delay on every channel. Uh, you've got separate auxiliary feed levels. We can have audio follows video mode on the line inputs. Uh, we've got three different kinds of compositor. Um, we've got a touch screen. How, sorry, how many racks have we filled by uh, now if we're doing this oh, your way? One and a half. <laughs> Maybe yeah, two? Yeah, how much is it costing us? Oh, cool, more than $9,000. Yeah, now you see why it's worth it. Okay, look, Roland have done an amazing job with this and even playing with the touchscreen interface, not coming from a video background myself, it's beautifully easy to use as well. Yeah, look, I think really the only thing that's going to catch people out is, um, uh, is probably the fact that if you do go into one of the audio channels and uh, you adjust the level using the on-screen interface, then you move the fader, the level jumps to whatever the fader position is. And that's just, you know, the fact that there's no flying faders. But really, I mean, for nine grand, what else do you want? Yeah, look, I really see this going into a lot of community level, uh, you know, broadcast uh, facilities for churches, things like that. Um, it's an amazing Oh, do it does USB streaming as well? Oh, so everybody can just go direct to web? Yeah. Uh, look, that's an astonishing value Yeah, look, I, I, think, I think for what this is and what this does, it's, it's phenomenal value. Yeah.